All right, so then the next thing, they'll stand up and you'll have them work on their ballet positions with music. Show them first position, say make an arm in first position, say we do beach ball arms holding a beach ball or a big pizza, and then they make a window, plie, and straight, plie, and straight. You just play the music and explain that we hide our thumbs in ballet. So just do a bunch of those. And then after that, you show them how to make second position, tendu, and explain to them tendu in ballet means to point your foot. So you can ask them, what's tendu mean? To point. So go tendu, point your foot to the side, and then arms in second position, and then plie. And tell them, we don't want to look like an airplane, we want to curve our arms, plie. And then after they've done that several times with music, you'll have them make third position and explain that there's a little mouse hole in your foot and you're going to cover the, uh, the mouse hole with your heel on your other foot. So you cover it up halfway. And then you have one arm to the side, one arm up, and play, and this is third position. So then you do a bunch of those, then ask them what tendu means again, and show them, say, tendu to point your foot or to stretch, and they're going to point their foot into fourth and explain, we want it turned out, so we don't want it turned in, we want to be here. So you might have to come around and correct them for that part, and then say, one arm up, one arm hugging your beach ball or pizza, and plie, and knees out to the side. Then you do a bunch of those, then last but not least, show them tendu, heel to toe, all the way, turn out knees nice and straight, we have a low fifth. And we'll do plies and tell them to pretend they have a big tutu on and you don't want to squish your tutu so you keep your arms open. And then we also have high fifth and then have them practice high fifth. And then after that you can just shake it all out after they do their positions.